so that's this part hold and um, let's go to um, the other part and um, I was gonna run past these guys like I just don't care oh they're not gonna knock me off anyway I mean it, they get they seem like they might get pretty close but I can outrun them slightly and um <sighs> And whatnot. So let's just keep running past um, that that mage oil's back, but um, you know when you're running past stuff, you're just running past stuff. You're not gonna stop. Um, and um, you know this is the part where I want to run into a dead end and have to turn back around. And um, you know and whatnot. And those some king's blood I can't pick up. And so I'm gonna keep moving up to um, you know up to um, the Moonwell of Purity, but once again, dead end, and this dead end has a bear in it. Um, you know, it's six levels below me, so I don't even worry about it. It's not gonna kill me. It doesn't, it doesn't really stand much of a chance. It would need like ten of them, to, ten of them to even get close. Cause I, I don't have my AOE yet, so um, yeah. So large amounts of things could easily kill me. Um, uh, but you know, just keep moving out. I'm going past the spiders. And, um, so we have something up here. What is this? I think it's Wild Steel Bloom, if I remember. Yep, Wild Steel Bloom. And, um, so that's really kind of useless. I'm going past these guys. They're four levels below me. So, um, not much of a chance for arguing anyway. And, um, so when you get into here, you start seeing, um, see what was one. You see five elementals start appearing and they're level 25 elites so um you have to be a little more ca careful around those the elites don't increase the aggro range uh, the level increases the ag aggro range but they uh, take longer to die and they hit slightly harder so um they hit probably twice as hard and have like three times more health so if you don't have to fight fight them you know you want to avoid them if possible um so um I could kill one, I just don't feel like doing it right now. And, um, so those are Moonwell of Purity with the Blink Dragons. I mean, they look pretty cool. Um, you know, there's some more Bruise Weed. Let me pick that up. Get my, uh, skill to 75. I'm still not high enough to do anything. Let's watch the Loon's Tail. I get the quest completed. And, um, so, complete quest. Alright. Ugh. Pretty much, it tells me to um, go ahead and um, you know complete the quest, and it tells me that there's a guy that needs to be redeemed and uh, and whatnot. So you need to go help him out, and with this things, yeah, rain, uh, rainwood towel, um, and whatnot. So you just go up there, and it's it's gonna be a little time and whatnot, uh, because then, you know I'm gonna read this out loud because I haven't read it read it before, but um. I already know what it is now, so yeah, I just so I don't really need to read it out loud again. Um, so he's a he's, he's actually a Sado. You don't get too many quests uh, dealing with Sados, especially Sados that you know don't wish to be Sados anymore. Um, so he wants to redeem himself and whatnot. So um, let's see if I can just go ahead and um, finish this up. Nope, still reading this. So uh, this Moonwell was one of the Moonwells that the um, that the Horde would use to um, make Moon Cloth because it was far out of the way and it was it was somewhat close to the um, door tall and there wasn't really it's not actually in the town or anything. So they used to use this Moonwell way back when. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this guy because um, I want to level up my skinning. You know, I'm just tired of, you know, not be able to skin anything, so pick that up, skin him, and that comes by skinning up to 109, kill this guy, and I'll bump me up to 110, so that's a level, so level pile that I can scan, probably bounce around to level, um, level 16 or something, uh, level 26 or something that I can scan, so, um, 
you know, I can just go back and skin and whatnot. So we'll get back on the blonde riding yak and uh, let's keep moving out. Uh, there's another little stag horn stag, shadow horn stag, but you know, don't really need to kill him. I just want two points of skinning, really. Um, because it's driving me crazy that I can't skin anything in this zone. Uh, it drives me crazy when I can't skin stuff, especially when I'm killing it anyway. Um, so, see, I notice I have a, have a course on me now, and it's a, it's a pretty... It's a pretty inconveniencing one. I'm not too bad. So what I want to do is um, hit it, hit it with the move horse, and uh, that takes care of that. And I hop back on my um, riding yak, and um, and there we go. We got Rainwood Retreat now, and um, so as it lined up, I'm in Rainwood Tower. So I, so it lined up that I um, have all my quests left there, are now lined up. So, um, let's see, I need to get over oh, to the towel though. Nope, still can't pick while still bloom. It's 115. Alright. Come on, I need to get over there. And, um, yeah. So, um, this is me go to, um, Trainwood Towel. And those, um, the dryads and, um,. <laughs> The dryers are fine. I love, just love the stuff that they say. It's it's funny. I think, and um, so I'm gonna turn in the next part of the glowing, jet glowing gem, and um, so um, the glowing gem is needed to um, to make something. It turns out, and we'll just pretty much just, you know, following that quest chain up. And uh, you'll see how it how it plays out when we get to it. But let's go ahead and um, do this. So uh, for this part, we're supposed to um, go ahead and and pick up the um, the dead body, the corpses of the of the dryads that are dead on the um, dead on the ground because uh, they didn't do too well in defending their um, their retreat and whatnot. So I think they probably would have you know mixed a couple of druids of the claw and that would you know spread it out and whatnot. But pretty much, um the sentinels were supposed to hold the tower, but the um the horse swept around anyway. Just went around them and um made an assault upon the um upon the reach upon the retreat. Um uh, rainbow retreat, so we're gonna go ahead and um, you know, clean up the mess and you know, just pick up pick up pick up dead bodies and whatnot. So, um, Good luck, yeah, that's that's what's going on with that quest. And, um, move over here, and, uh, here we have the Arsadal who wants to be redeemed. So, um, pretty much, I talk to this guy. Forget what exactly he makes me do, but honestly, it doesn't feel like as much of anything. Uh, he really, uh, he realizes you're not here to chastise him, and he's like, oh, okay. And he realizes you're there to help him and whatnot. And um, so go ahead and complete the quest. Complete the quest. Complete the quest. Complete the quest. All right, there we go. And um, yeah. Um, my audio is out of sync with my video, so I'm gonna pause this and let it catch back up. Uh, all right, so stop. All right, so that should help a little bit. Um, the Moonwell is, you know, probably killing my frame rate a little bit. I don't know if it should be, maybe it's fine for you after I process the video and whatnot and, you know, get this out on YouTube. But, um, anyway, so, um, let's go ahead and complete the quest. Obtain five fallen moonstones. Um, let's see, who had the moonstones? Moonstones are unique. Um, east, north. Multiple paths. I think I was just supposed to get them from, from from a lake or something. Oh no, I get them from the saddles. That's what I do. So um, let's just you know do the nearby quest and walk my way up. This one really doesn't have much of a pad on to it. You just you know walk your way around. And um, so you run past initially, and these saddles. I mean these dryads are just getting wrecked. And those are dead in with another dead in with the bale, so um, you know, 
turn back around, have a bear fighting me. Um, yep. And, um, really not much to see here. Um, let's keep moving out. So I saw an orb pop up. What is it? What's my orb? <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get around this stuff. Alright, so, um, This is where I realized that I have like a thousand things beating on me, behind me. Yep. And I just aggroed them all. Yep. Yep. This is gonna be interesting. Um, so I have um, a stack and a half of subtle armor on me. Um, because these all these guys can stack subtle, ar subtle, subtle armor. And um, so um, yeah, that's happening. And um, yep, those are almost two complete stacks now. And, okay, that wore off because they won't refresh in the stack. And um, so I'm still killing these guys. Um, yeah, that was probably about five of them. So we're going to pick up the pig and. Um, pig and shoes of the eagle. Uh, it's cloth. I have cloth. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out, maybe. And um, so those a one of the corpses. So I can pick that up and uh, move on. There's another one up there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill my way through the grinds and whatnot, and um, take care of these guys. And um, yeah, it's just a. I don't know. It feels like it's a slow process, but you know that's I suppose that how they make the game fun. I mean, they make it slow, and you know the rewards come come sparingly in, in a in a good game. And really, it's there to just make you hang on to it and wish you liked it. But I see there's an elite there, and um, you know I'm doing good damage, but he has like twice, maybe three times the health that the other guys have, so. He's doing slightly more damage, so I kind of wish I didn't pull him because it would have been fast if I could avoid him. And he respawns anyway quickly because he's probably. It doesn't even seem like he's part of a quest or anything. He's just there to make sure these triads die so those bodies for me to pick up. And, um. <clears throat> so I have six more bodies to do, and looks like. You know, I, I, I should have checked. I should have checked if I can just run Pi and, and pick these up in combat. Because it looks like I can. If I could, that would be so much faster. But I didn't think to check it. So, um. Yeah. Oops. Um, always see if you can find a shortcut if possible. So I have two guys bidding on me now. And, um. So that's going to be. That's going to be a slow thing. Slowing me down. And, um, whatnot. <sighs> now I have another guy behind me. Because, yep. Thags respawned. That's his name, Thags. And, um. Yeah. And I have another guy attacking me already. So, um. Yeah. This is just one of those things that you have to deal with. Um. Just glad he's not another elite. I mean, that'd be really annoying. So let's go ahead and loot these guys and get out of there because that's getting annoying. Um, so I got the hill off. Let's go ahead and loot these guys. And just keep moving out. I need one more so I can not um, bump off this this guard, this guy guarding the corpse, and um, I can just move on to the retreat. And it's on my quest there. So let's just go ahead and um, move on in. Come on, go. What am I winning on? <laughs> Whatever. He's not gonna. I'm just killing him anyway, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. <sighs> I'm just. Yeah. Just making sure, making sure these guys don't attack me when I walk by. You, know, you clear your way through. And that's pretty much the one thing that every WoW player hates, having to clear their way through when they do something. But when you're killing, when you're clear, killing your way through beasts and you're a skin or it works out well for you. But if you're not a skin or you just kind of regret it. And if you're killing humanoids, you just hate it all together. Unless you're um, 
Unless you're a tailor, because that way you can use the cloth at least. So, um. What is nature's call? Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up this quest. What? Uh, ah, great outdoors. Yep. And, uh, so it's laughing sister corpses. So, come on. Click continue. They're pretty much saying they're gonna revive them when they, um, when they have the chance. Preparing laughing sisters, sisters are easy to revive. And whatnot, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, complete the quest. Um, recover the fallen. I'm still reading about how they're gonna revive the lasting sisters. If the, um, yeah. Defend the tree. Alright, so it's gonna give me an awesome buff, and I'm gonna use that buff to kill these guys, and that's gonna be fine. So, uh, so let's go ahead and click on that, and I'm in a giant tiger now. Yeah. So, looking at my attack sale, see what I have, and I pretty much discover I have a swipe that works pretty well, and um, and so I'll just spam that when I have a good cluster, cluster in front of me, and um, why not? And plus the auto attacks, dude. Do a deal of damage if you remember to auto attack at all. As long as you command these vehicle like things, you don't you don't always auto attack. So you you have to go in and manually auto attack. It doesn't do it automatically like you would expect it to. So I'm just picking up a, a large largest replay, feel comfortable pulling and um, spamming the swipes. And, uh, and whatnot. So, alright. So, by like just spamming swipe this mini, I should be getting kills pretty quickly. And, um, definitely doing a lot of damage. I mean, they're doing a lot of damage to me. Um, but, you know, I can just, you know, refresh this thing. Um, and whatnot. So, about this time, I am, um, Wishing these guys would die. Alright, so I'm looking for the moon. It says there's a moon well in the tree to recover the health at um, around the tree. So I'll go all the way around the tree looking for it, and I don't find it. It's like it, like so. It turns out the moon well is actually inside the tree, little pool, like little kitty pool. And um, I don't know if that actually counts as a moon well. And so what I what I figure out is what I need to do is get to go back on my mage with some spell cloth and see if I can make use that little moon well um, to make uh, moon cloth. Yeah, just don't know how that's gonna how that's gonna play out. So right now I'm just you know going through trying to figure out what was that moon well that they were talking about. And, you know, I just spent a deal of time trying to find it, you know, obviously there's not a moon well in front of it, and I went on half of it and didn't find it, so, at this point I'm just, I think I'd give up and, um, go ahead and uh, start killing more, um, actually, no, I just, I, I still look, and, like, I, you're not gonna, I don't find it, and it tried, like, it drove me crazy, and, um, well, my health is going up naturally by itself, but it, it's still slow. Like, it's still slow. And, um, so let's just nail these guys off real fast. Um, I pretty much understand that, you know, little special tiger thing is gonna die before I, before I kill this group. But, you know, at this point, I don't care. I'll shout him out if I need to. And, um, and I'm still getting kills pretty fast. So, um, as long as I'm getting those kills, I don't care too much. And um, just bring it one more set. The best thing about it, when I'm out of the special title, they go away. I was not expecting that. I'm glad it walks in there. I'm like, I walk back in. It's like, don't tell me that's the Moonwell. That, but is that the Moonwell they were talking about? It's like, that doesn't even count as a Moonwell. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, go and hail. Pick up the, um, the thing again. Jump back down and wreck them. Wreck their faces. That's what am I doing? Alright, so. Yep. 
And um, you know, I pick up, I pick up a nice large group. That's so much, that'd be so much faster. I can get this done because we're spamming AOE, or spamming AOE. And um, so the more you have, the better it is. And I got my 50. Just finish these guys off. Alright. We have like one more. Though I realized if I just got out of it, they'd probably just disappear, but I didn't realize that then. So, um, oh wait, let's figure out how to get back into the tree. You know, break out, they disappear, and just run back around. Get them the nice travel form. I don't really care too much about the, um, about the great stag travel form, but, you know, it, it, I mean, it's better than nothing. I, I really miss the cheetah. The cheetah was fun. What am I doing? Get, get in the tree. Get in the tree. Come on. Oh yeah, I don't have to press into the tree. So that guy decides he's gonna dash at me, so I wanna blow my dash. Get away from him. 